In January of 1929, President-elect Herbert Hoover took a month-long fishing vacation in Florida. He stayed at the Belle Isle estate of James C. Penny, the department store magnate. Just after the 1928 election, a bruising race against Al Smith, he went on a six-week tour of South America. Immediately after that, he returned to Washington for two weeks of discussions with President Coolidge and other officials. As he left for Florida, the papers noted that he looked tired. These are two Hoover grandchildren. This was taken at the Hoover House in Stanford, California. This appears to be a Navy blimp flying above the Washington Monument. This is Lou Henry Hoover in front of the Lincoln Memorial. These film clips show Hoover and some of his staff playing Bull in the Ring, a game he had seen played on U.S. Navy ships. It's a keep-away game played with a heavy nine-pound ball. Later, this would evolve into Hoover Ball, a net game also played with a heavy ball. This segment shows Lou Henry Hoover playing with a dog's Pat and Ouija in the White House gardens. This is Alonzo Fields, 1900 to 1994, White House head butler. This airplane appears to be a Fokker F-10 belonging to Transcontinental and Western Air, later known as TWA. I don't know what its connection is with the Hoovers. In 1931, a TWNA Fokker F-10 crashed in Kansas, killing football coach Newt Rockney. The Hoovers took a tour of the Southwest in 1930. This shot appears to be taken on Route 66 somewhere in New Mexico. This film was shot with Kodak's original color home movie film, Kodacolor. It debuted in 1928 and cost $6, 
the equivalent of $90 today, for 50 feet. That's about two minutes of film. The coat of color process separated red, blue, and green into small vertical strips on the film. When projected, the colors combined to make the image, though the vertical lines were still visible. Kodakolor had pretty much disappeared by the time Kodachrome color film premiered in 1935.